Hi, welcome everybody. This is Ask Octopus, the weekly series where we answer your questions. This week we have a question about Azure and Terraform. That question is, how can I store Terraform state in Azure? All right, let's take a look at my Octopus instance. I've got a run book and it has a Terraform step inside of it. If I scroll down, we can see that we're using my Azure account. It's bound to a, a project variable that is tied to my Azure account that matches my subscription. And if we look at our template source code, I've got it in line. You can also put it inside a file in a package. But what we're going to look at today is this Terraform block. But by default, the Terraform step in Octopus doesn't save state. Uh, that means if you run it multiple times, it's going to try and create the same resources. And depending on where you're uh, running your script against or deploying it to that could cause some problems. For example, in this script, I'm simply setting up a resource group. But if I were to run this multiple times without a remote backend for the state, it's going to fail uh, after creating it because it'll see that it already exists. And then Azure will say, hey, you can't create that resource group because it already exists. So to fix this, we add the Terraform block and we add a backend. Uh, in this case, because we want to save to Azure, we're going to use the Azure RM backend. But there are other backends that you can use depending on where you want to save your state. And that state in Azure is going to be set up in blob storage. So I already had some blob storage uh, resources set up. So we're going to reuse those. So I have my resource group, blob storage demo, give it the account name, which is ask octopus. I created a new container for the Terraform state. And then the key of the Terraform state file will be the environment name made lowercase and then terraform.tf state. So if we close this and let's run this, we'll run against development and we'll click run. So the run book's complete. Let's take a look at Azure. I have my Ask Octopus storage account. I have my Terraform state container. And if I open that, I have development.terraform.tf state. So this is the state of that Terraform execution. If we run the runbook again, it's going to use the state file to see that that resource group is part of the expected state that it already exists. And it's not going to try and create it again. Let's take a look at that. From my run book, I will rerun on development. So now that it's complete, we can look at the logs and we should see a line that yes, it's refreshing the state. And because it used the state file at the bottom, apply complete, zero added, zero changed and zero destroyed. So it used the state file to see that nothing had changed since the last run and it didn't have any work to do. And that's how you save your Terraform state to Azure with an Azure account and blob storage in Octopus. Do you have a question about how to do something in Octopus? Email advice at octopus.com and somebody from our team will get you an answer. You might even see your question in a future video. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy deployments.